Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a good day. I wanted to recreate an image like this, an x-ray in an airport. So I played around in Octane and I was able to come up with something like this. So it looks pretty good. Um, so I wanted to walk you through this really quick. So I'm looking at the reference image. Um, the first thing is that it's see-through, so that would indicate opacity. Um, but the other thing is that there's color, but not spread out over the entire bag. It's a lot more color on the edges, and as it fades in towards the center of the model, um, it becomes see-through without any color. So when looking at a reference image, you want to think about the different shader options you have and which one might be able to recreate this. So if you're looking at this image, you want a shader that can define the edges of an image. So that would be the dirt shader in Octane. So we're going to use the dirt shader and then the um, opacity to try and recreate this. So I have a suitcase here from our travel pack. And if we disable this, you can see that inside we have uh, some different weapons. And these are all freebies on our site, these weapons. Um, so we're going to create a new uh, material in Octane. And this one is completely default, it's a glossy. So the first thing we're gonna look at is our opacity. So the opacity in Octane is a lot easier to use than the one in Cinema 4D. In fact, if you create a Cinema 4D material, there isn't even an opacity. All they have is a transparency, uh, which doesn't really act the way that you would think it would. Um, so in Octane, it's just very straightforward. You just have a slider and it behaves exactly as you would think. If you slide it over, you're gonna be able to start seeing through your object and it renders really quick and it looks really nice. So definitely a step up for Octane with the opacity. All right, so now we can see through our object. Now we just need to add color. So we're gonna to go to our diffuse channel and we're gonna add the color, um, probably an orange in here. So right now it covers the entire model. So we're going to use the dirt shader. So let's open up our node editor. And if you want to navigate around your node editor, you can just hold one down and then click and drag around. So we're gonna find our dirt shader over here and drag it in. So we have our dirt shader, we're gonna drag that into the diffuse. All right, so let's check out this dirt shader. Let's actually turn the opacity back up just so we can see this a little better. So our dirt shader is going to define the edges. So if we kick up the strength really high, we should be able to start seeing it. You can start seeing the edges are getting darker. And then if we play with the radius, it's gonna make the dirt kind of spread out from that spot a little bit further. So we're starting to get that look that we're going after. So something like that would look pretty good. And you can also play around with the detail as well. So something like that should work. Now if we turn our opacity back down. All right, so now we just need to take these black parts and color them orange. So the way we're gonna do that, we're gonna go back to our node editor. We need to add a gradient in between the dirt shader and the diffuse shader so that we can colorize the dirt. So let's find our gradient and we're gonna drag it right onto that line. It's gonna make a new node in there. And if we click on our gradient, we can now specify the black and white colors. So let's go to our black color and we'll make a nice orange. And now we are getting somewhere. So we'll tweak that in a little bit. So um, actually it looks pretty good out of the gate. If we wanted to play around with where this shows up, we can also play with our gradient right here that will kind of dial it in. Um, or you can go back to your dirt shader and play around with that. But for right now, I think that looks pretty good, so we'll just leave it like that. So that's how you would set up your um, material. I've actually made a couple other ones. I made one that's exactly the same, except for in that gradient I have green, and then I have one where it's blue. So we'll just drag those onto these various weapons in here and see what that looks like. Make a few of them green, make a couple of them blue and we'll take a look and see what that looks like. And there you go, now you're able to see through this suitcase and see all these different weapons in there. If you uh, play around a little bit more, you can get a more refined look like this. I played with the dirt shader, looks like it's a little bit too strong here. Um, and I brought this in After Effects and added some sharpening and some contrast. Um, you can also go into your camera imager. If you click on your imager tab, you can play with your gamma and exposure if you want to. So you can kind of dial this in a little bit. Maybe give it a little more contrast, um, but you can also do that in After Effects, whatever works for you. Um, last thing, if you notice in this reference, there is no specular or shininess, it's just flat. So you probably should go into your material and turn off the index. 
and then you can turn off your specular and that'll give it more of a flat look without any gloss or shine. That's probably a little bit more accurate. So that's it on how to make an x-ray in Octane. It's really easy. Hope you guys found some useful tips in there. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.